Hi everybody, Iron Dog 63 here with a video. It's not that great of a high quality video. There isn't much talking in it, it's just filming. The video is about, uh, there is a barricade situation just down the street. Um, it's less than three, probably about 350 feet away from my house. Um, it's just two blocks over. Uh, down there's two blocks down the street on the same street that I live on. The guy is a 60 year old male, uh, veteran. I guess he's off his meds. Uh, he barricaded in. He's already shot at a female officer that I uh, that has been reported. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's been reported that a female officer was shot at. She wasn't hit, but she was shot at. Um, some people that I talked to that live across the street from him said that he's told them before he'd never go to jail and never go to prison. He'd die first. So <clears throat> I don't know if this guy plans on fighting his way out, negotiating, or whatever, but hopefully they'll bring this to a peaceful end. Uh, this has been going on since 5 o'clock this morning. Um, I was actually here doing a video this morning, and I heard... The cars go by, well, there weren't no sirens, but they were, you know, hammered down, and I I thought it was just somebody cruising through the neighborhood, but then I figured out who it was once I, you know, seen that there was a uh, an active shooter down the street, so. But anyways, here's some footage you'll be able to see. There we go. I don't know how well you can see it, but, uh. There is a police car, that car right there, that's another one that's in between the two scenes. We got a car down there with the door open, that's another cop car. Got lots of cops, more cops than what we need. So. What happened? There's an active shooter down there. They got that shut down right there. See the barricades? I'm trying to do as best I can. A little shaky footage, but I don't know. They say he's an, uh, you know, a vet that's lost it. I, I, you know, nothing against that because, you know, some people do have problems. But, you know, there is something that needs to be done. Sorry I couldn't get a better picture. Maybe if I clean that off a little bit. No. It's about as good as I'm going to get unless I go down there. And I'm sure they won't let me. There's the NBC or Action News 13 Action News van. And right there is uh, an ambulance, and right there you can see is a fire truck. And they got more ambulances, quad bus. State troopers, there's state troopers right there. You can tell them because they got the cherry on the top. There's Fox News right there. The, we can all trust Fox, you know fair and balanced. <laughs> I'm glad CNN wasn't here because they'd spin this somehow to think it was Trump's fault. <laughs> but <laughs> There you go. There's a reporter. And there's a county sheriff right there. So, this is going on my YouTube channel. There's the police going back down again.
And you can see down there past the stop sign, that's where they're at. But uh, they're just standing back here. Uh, ambulances, paramedics, fire department, state police, city, county, sheriff. This guy's costing thousands and thousands and do thousands of dollars an hour. TV's here, radio's here. Pretty interesting. And now you know the rest of the story. Don't know anything yet. But. Never seen so many police officers in my entire life. Uh, the train in the background. Oh. By the way, you guys see this. This is, I did a video of that. This is where the school used to be. They've got it all torn down now. It looks pretty nice. Corner of Bristol's and Getty's. Just right around the corner from me. Do you got any hostages? Do you got any hostages in there? News crews. Anyways, if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Yeah, and from what I know, he ain't got. He ain't just got one gun in the house. He's got a ton of guns. <laughs> you can stroll over there. Great. It's like Reject. That's, that's because he didn't go down too much. <laughs> just, just let them know. Just, you know, you'll see someone over there. If they want you to keep trying his phone, because you guys know him, yeah. maybe he'll see your... If he, I don't know if he has your number. He has his. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If he sees your number, he may decide to answer it at some point. Because it... You know, the chances of him answering Sheriff's Department or something like that. He called me last week about, um, okay. he called me last week, and I talked to him for a little bit. And, yeah. He didn't say anything. He said that he was dealing with some shit, but he didn't really tell me a whole lot of what was going on. I know he's always putting him up. The amount of pills they had him on, they just yeah. cut him off. There for a while, he was going through such bad withdrawals, and he would come outside of the winter time, he was sweating. See, they may want to know that info, so I, I don't know who to... they've talked to, because we've been out here since 6. So what I would say is barricades back there, just hang out back there, if you want to take video down the street. Now let's see into the video. Um, I, I know I, I did the best I could with what I had to work with. They wouldn't, uh, you know, they wouldn't let me any closer. I couldn't get any, you know, better footage. It's just, you know, something to see. This is Iron Dog 63 saying, if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And as always, God bless and have a great day. And if you are a veteran and you need help, please seek out the help that you, can, you need. There are plenty of organizations that will help you. Don't sit there and think you have to take this on by yourself. We are all here for you. Go ahead and get the help you need so you can live a productive life. Don't try to do a uh, permanent fix for a temporary solution.
Have a great day, everybody. God bless. Take care. Prayers and peace. I am somebody. Hashtag looking lovely as ever. Thank you.